there was some concern that these wheels wouldn't fit in the car. But it's looking like I'll make it, just barely. Here's the last one. Ooh. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hell yeah. You guys like never see back here. Oh, that's what it looks like. The wheels are all packed up. I'm gonna be late to my appointment because I'm I'm always late to stuff. So excited right now and one thing I forgot I'm gonna warn you guys you're gonna be mad at me for it I forgot to order the center caps and the stock center caps look like they're too big to fit on the Titan 7 TS5 wheels so I'm gonna have to try to like overnight some of those it's so weird walking this thing get jacked up with older cars they would like bend and sway this thing stays really So you found lug nuts? We, yeah, we have, uh, these are the ones that we sell. Uh, oh, okay. So we got these ones on there for you. Cool, thank you. Uh, I just ordered the center caps. Okay, perfect. Because those are the tiniest bit too big, I believe. That's crazy. Look at those tires. Oh my god. These are meaty, man. Wow. That looks crazy. the perfect choice. Lowering springs will be coming soon. So here we go. Actually, I don't know what it was about the car being over there, but right here, it looks like it settled down a lot. It, okay, that's interesting. Maybe the suspension, when it was decompressed, it just took a couple seconds to recompress? I don't know, but this, this looks pretty damn good, guys, as it is. I mean, I, I do still plan on getting the lowering springs, probably swift springs. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute, but I just want to drive this thing, see how it feels. And there was some concern about uh, them not really being able to balance these because we ceramic coated the whole thing, but it looks like, because like the stock wheels have these little weights on them on the inside. Honestly, I don't even, I don't even see any of those on here. Oh my God. Dude, this looks so good. Perfect color combination. I absolutely love it. Holy shit. Dude, a what? What? Guys, I, I don't know what in the world. I, I'm not making this up. This thing right off the bat feels different. Like turning. It feels so easy. This is weird. And this is the first time I've ever put aftermarket wheels on a car. So I'm gonna drive in comfort mode for a few minutes while the car warms up. I need to get gas. On the way back to the house, I will drive in sport mode. What? Dude, okay. I can't make this up. I'm not making this up. Even shifting feels different. The, the whole entire car feels different. What the hell, dude? The difference that these wheels and tires just made on this car is unbelievable. I was not expecting this at all. All right, I'm in sport mode now. Guys, this right now in sport mode feels almost equivalent to how the car felt with the stock wheels in comfort mode. I mean, this feels so much lighter on its feet. I'm so excited to test out how much more traction this has now, or you never know. I mean, since these wheels weigh so much less than the stock wheels, 
I might not have, a, you know, a ton more traction. We'll see. Dude, what are you doing, you asshole? I'm gonna call Vivian real quick. I wanted to come out and see what the car looks like. Hola. Hey babe, can you come outside and like one minute, I want to show you what the car looks like. Uh, yeah. It'll only take like 20 seconds. On camera? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> you like it? That's cool. You think so? I like it. So I forgot to order the center caps. You know, the things that should be like right here. Mm -hmm. But I, ju I mean, I just ordered them. What do you think? It's really cool. New tires, new wheels. I like it a lot. Do you think it looks weird on the stock ride height, so stock suspension? So this is called wheel gap, right? The distance between the top of the tire and the bottom of the fender. You think that looks worse than it did before? No? It feels different too. It feels lighter on its feet because these wheels weigh a lot less than the stock wheels. That means that it like takes less energy for the drive shaft to turn the tires. Say it again. Bien chingon. You gotta rock it, baby. You gotta rock that Spanish. You gotta own it. I, I gotta you get back to gotta own it, baby. I gotta get back to Doesn't she look pretty with straight hair? I mean, she looks pretty regardless, but. Yeah, hey. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Here she is. I am absolutely in love with this setup. I could not be more happy with my wheel choice. I drove it to work last night and I didn't film anything, but it, it just, I don't know how exactly to explain the way the car feels now. It just feels like it moves easier. And also, I'll show you guys on the highway in a couple minutes, I'll do some pulls, but even like engine braking is less noticeable now. The center caps are on the way and I paid a whopping $15 for shipping so they better be here soon. Here's the fitment from the side. I am personally not a fan of like poking out so I'm, I'm very happy that this ended up being the fitment. Here's the front. Look at those big meaty tires, dude. I know these are just barely wider than the stock tires, but it does make a difference. They are dirty because it's about to be winter here in Northern California, so we'll get a lot of rain. I think the satin titanium just makes the red calipers pop a little more than before. Even on stock ride height, that looks, that looks really good. Let's talk money for a second. I know you guys all want to know how much I paid for all of this. I ordered the wheels through MA Performance. I love to order all my parts through MA Performance. They have awesome customer service. I have a referral link that I put in the description of all my videos, including this one here. So, And if you ever want to order anything through them and you want a more personalized ordering experience, you can go through a specific sales associate. I think I paid $1,800 for the wheels. And I just spent an extra 130 something dollars on the center caps. I bought them straight from Titan 7. And then the tires plus installation was $1,160. And that's with a 10% military discount. So like any time you get new tires, they're very quiet. The car basically feels brand new again. The road noise is, is a little less than before. I mean, I'm trying to focus in 
on like listening to the tires and it's it's pretty difficult they're very quiet what we do need to test out is the grip so that's where I'm going right now I'm going to the highway uh, I will I'll do a second gear pull and if you've been watching my channel recently you've seen that I've been losing traction in second pretty badly uh, good news is I have the Fearable Stage 1 tune made by John Vega and that combined with Honda's traction control on top of the car's traction control it works pretty well so it's it's pretty interesting to watch what the car does when it loses traction all right here we go racing this this thing is freaking fast guys so before I would lose traction in second when I floored it uh, around like 4,000 4,500 rpm this time I th I don't think it broke loose until but somewhere between 5,000 5,500 so that makes me happy and also I was actually losing traction in third before I got these tires on and that time we we had no problems in third the engine just feels a little more free than it did before. As far as did I think that felt faster than before with the stock tires and wheels, uh, it's hard to say. It feels fast all the time. I'm kind of feeling like I want to do a first gear pull. I, I know it's not going to grip, but I haven't done a first gear pull in a long time. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. in between shifts. I should have brought Vivian with me and gone to a back row so she could have recorded that from the outside because that would have sounded insane. I'm very happy with this car. I'm very happy with the progress that it's made. I would like the modifications to be a little further ahead of where they're at right now, but I have some stuff on the way. I mean, I have $4,800 worth of Varus parts that have been ordered. Oh my God. That's all I have today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you're happy with the way the car came out. I am certainly happy with it. I have a lot of exciting updates coming. I got a very, very exciting text message this morning from somebody having to do with something, and just make sure you have your notifications on for my channel, because next month, it's, it's, it's gonna get good. All right, that's all I have. See you guys next time.